Oh, it's windy, Noel. Look. It's so fall, but the weather is so not. It completely looks fall here in Arkansas, but I promise you guys it is hot and humid. I wonder if we have any tea mail. Any tea mail? Mail. Oh, what do we got? T Forte catalogs, three of them. Brian, why do I have three? Why is one under Brian's name? Everyone, so I don't know if today's gonna be a tea vlog or what. I actually have my eyebrows on, as my sister says. It's funny. Um, I'm one of seven kids, so four girls, three boys. One of my sisters has literally no eyebrows at all, and it doesn't matter if that girl just gave late, like just had a baby. Her eyebrows are always on. And it's funny because I remember when my three were little, and y'all know what it's like being a stay-at-home mom. You just have days where some days you might not even get a shower in. She could be looking like a tornado hit her and those eyebrows are on. So it always cracks me up. Anyway, so we have my jade leaf matcha, just like I showed y'all in the sun tea shaker video. I put it in a holiday Tervis with little gnomes because I love gnomes because we are headed back to the cat shelter We adopted a new baby and we think she was sick or he and um, So they've been checking him out overnight. So we're gonna go check on that and we were torn between him and another cat and so got my daughter with me and we secretly want to get the other baby, but we don't know how the Papa Panda will feel about it so Let's see how this day. This cat shelter is literally the best. This is where Kitty Baguette came from, so they're great. They are a no-kill shelter. Um, they've had some kitties um, that, you know, passed over the Rainbow Bridge here. They had one named Fang. He was so cool. He had a lot of allergies, wasn't that what they said? <clears throat> And he recently passed away. It was so sad because he lived here for so many years. We'd come and visit him. So I don't know if we'll get footage inside. We're going to try. Wait, first tea. Oh, gotta have that matcha, y'all. Gotta have it. I have a cat that my postmistress rescued in a hole in the ground, you know, where your water main is with the green crack. Easter Sunday last year. And if they hadn't rescued me, well, they would She said yes. And, oh, awesome. Uh, he loves water. Got the cat. So I, this is a boy? No, this is a girl. girl. Look, no way. <laughs> I've never seen a she's cat got, that was She's cool. got us trained. Oh. oh my gosh, that is so awesome. But she'll, she'll get in there and meow until one of us turns it on. Oh my gosh. Wrestling at it and tearing it apart. And when it's I have funny. a glass of water at the sink, he jumps up and I have to... Hey, you. Hey, hey. Hey. Hey, Deacon. Hey. <laughs> Oof. You spicy, aren't you? Are you spicy? Huh? Hi, babies. I'm going to let Deacon play. No, just hold him. Hey, Breezy. You got your tongue sticking out. Hey, Cobweb, you're out. Make sure to keep up with Deacon. Hey, babies. Stormy. Hey. Hey, Junkers. Is your little eyes watering, Ziggy? Oh, this one's so pretty. Look, we got the big boys in there. In that room, look at them. Oh, there's one in the little thing over there. Oh, yeah. See them? Yeah, that's the one that burned. Oh, hey. Oh. There's that big boy down there. He's so big. What is it? 
Make sure to grab Deacon. We love it. There's kitties everywhere. Oh, hey. Hey, big boy. Oh, there's our deacon. There's my daughter. <laughs> there's deacon. Hey, this guy was normally really active. He was running around. He is a, it's a girl named Kingston. And we have some kitties up here. Hi, kitties. What? Oh, there's one up there. <laughs> Look at you. I don't know if y'all can see him on the lamp. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh, hi, little Gracie. What are you doing? Oh, aren't you a sweetie? Oh, aren't you a sweetie girl? This little guy down here is 12. And he has the loudest purr. Let's see if y'all can hear it. Hey, Spot. What? You're a big boy. Oh, hi. And there's another room over there. Hi, kitty. Bye. You're okay. Teenager room. They have lots of different rooms. Hey guys. Hey guys. Look how colored. Are you cleaning him? What a nice person. Ah. Ah, sweetie. And there's the little kittens. Hey. <laughs> hey. Look at your neat ramp. Isn't that neat? Ooh. What are you doing? You have some sleepy ones up here. Huh. Oh. oh, hello. Hi. Is he here? Yeah, so cute. Oh, hello. Hello. Okay. Okay. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, we're biting and we're licking. You're such a pretty color tortie, aren't you? Okay. Hi. We got some marble tabby. Hi, baby. Hi. Y'all see them? They just want love. Look. Hi. You're so funny. Oh. Oh. You're spicy, but you're sweet. You're like a Sour Patch Kid. Aren't you? It's kind of hard to breathe in my mask. Boy, you guys are just active in here. All right. Let's go this way. There's little nooks, little crannies. <laughs> They're very well taken care of here. Oh. Meow. 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 Hey. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, goodness, you're a sweetie. Oh, he's on my leg, y'all. I couldn't get out of that room. They wouldn't have... What is happening? I don't know. Oh. They're just all swarming me. Hi. 
Especially this one. Who is that one? This is Stormy. Oh, Stormy, yes. Yes, uh, when we came over the weekend, that was the one, that first one that came up to me. You should have seen it in there. <laughs> I couldn't get out. This one's so charming. Uh, where's our baby? Uh, he went to the bathroom. Oh. Where's he at now? You gotta oh, find... Oh. <laughs> hey, guys. This one is a sweetie. Yeah. We, we wanted her to... Oh, my gosh, we just want them all. If I could get one, it would be sweet. Don't touch his eyes. I know. I think they're giving him all medicine. Yeah. Bless his heart. Look at this. There was a gray um, tortoise shell over there, and she would bite me and then lick me. That's what Baguette does. Oh, no. They're all, like, swarming her. Look at y'all. They just all want more. Yeah, they do. All right, grab our baby. We hope you guys enjoyed the footage. I am a little sweaty because it's humid, but it was warm in there also because they were cleaning and they try to keep the kitties warm. So, yeah, and I told my daughter, I was like, um, all my makeup came off on my mask and she said, well, why don't you, why do you put makeup where your mask is? And I was like, you're so right. We could be saving money. Just do the top half. So, anyway, um, surprise. We, when we came on Saturday, we chose Appa, but I was torn between another kitten named Deacon, and I've just been in turmoil over it for the last couple of days, so they had a deal where you could do two kitties for a certain price, and Noelle and I decided to take Deacon home. So we've got him, we're about to take him home, and surprise the Papa Panda, we don't know how that's going to go. Um, but, what was I saying? I'm losing my train of thought. This is me in real life. Oh, Appa. So, he, they are actually going to take him to the vet tomorrow. So, we may not know anything tomorrow, maybe Thursday morning. So, we just hope our new baby comes home. Anyway, so we're going to head home and take him home. And Will and I, she is doing virtual school, but luckily she can do it on her phone. She's a straight A student. She's so smart. And so... Um, we got a couple more da, errands. Da, 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 da. Oh, no. I'm treating Noelle and taking her to Dunkin' Donuts. Yes. My oldest is so much help, so let's look at their menu. Let's see what they've got. Oh, everyone's got their holiday stuff out. Cheers into all. $2 medium lattes. Actually, you know what? I think I got a free drink reward. Y'all look. Dunkin' has bacon in a bag now. Come yeah. on, why has, don't say, ooh, why is it taking someone so long to make portable bacon? That's gross. Look, they even have little portable bagel roll <laughs> things. snack and bacon. Look at that. That's okay. Just... No, that's awesome. You know what gets me is when people have to have a conversation about what they want. Cover up your license plate. You do that too? No, I don't. Yes, do. No, I know what I want. Maybe it's her first time, so show a little grace. But you can see him in the rear view. He's like, oh, it took him that long to us out on the ice latte. Maybe he's getting it in fourth watch. You know how this is. Cheers in two all. All right. We normally get the same thing all the time. Thanks for choosing that tip. Hi, do y'all have any um, holiday donuts right now? Holiday donuts? Let me go triple check real quick. Noelle loves when they have... We don't have any holiday donuts out yet. Okay. Um, can I get... Do y'all still do your refreshers? What was that, ma'am? Do y'all still make your refreshers? Yes. Okay, can I get a large peach refresher? Absolutely. Anything else? Yes. Uh, ten blueberry munchkins. Ten blueberry munchkins. All right. Anything else? Yes, ma'am. And then a large iced coffee. Large iced coffee. Do you want any flavoring in that? Uh, no, ma'am, but I do want cream in it. All right. So and we have... 
Simply Bay Motions, a large iced coffee, a large passion fruit refresher. Anything else? That's it. All right, go have a look. Specialty donuts because sometimes during certain holidays they have like a special donut and Noelle loves those like Halloween they have like a spider donut her favorite is the one at Easter where they put a little peep in the donut if I have some pictures of ours I'll insert those but anyway so that's what I was asking and they had some fall donuts so oh so Noelle got a peach refresher these are really good if you like kind of fruity but it is very artificial peach like very strong isn't it she loves blueberry munchkins she's got to get those and i normally do sugar-free flavoring look at their holiday cups i love it um but i've gotten to where recently i oh let me show you guys what i carry in my car y'all are not gonna believe this let me dig okay because i add my own flavoring it is a ring flask yes it is and Y'all should not be surprised. This has sugar-free pumpkin spice syrup by Tarani in here. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see when I posted this. So I do put that in my coffee. I'm sure if anyone sees me, they're probably like, mm-hmm, what's she putting in that coffee? But yeah, so I do add that in. And we always ask for our receipts. Um, I have links down below. My daughter actually got me doing fetch, fetch. And we scan them in and you can earn money. It is real, like... Um, we use ours on Amazon. That's how I buy like products to review and stuff. And I think we've been doing it for a month and a half. And I know personally I've redeemed $25, $30 myself. Oh, oh and uh, if you enter a uh, refer uh, referral code, uh -huh. uh, you get 2,000 points for free. Yeah, so she's saying, you know, if you if you sign up and then you start referring friends, you earn money faster because you get, like, a ton of points. So, that's what we did. I referred some family members. They started helping me out. But I do scan in my receipts. You do get the most points at grocery stores. Um, like McDonald's, Dunkin's, places like that, you get, like, five points. But it does add up, especially for us who come all the time. And, like I said, it's not... You're just scanning in what you're already buying, and it's a nice little way to make extra money. So anyway, we're going to, I'm actually going to finish off my matcha, then start on my coffee because we got a lot to do today. So you guys just continue so following. Before we get too far into this day, I got a call last night. My dad is in the hospital, and he is not doing well, and they have a small farm, and my mother does not know how to feed the cows and the miniature horses they have. So we're gonna go figure that out because my dad does all of it. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> and we, I'm not an outside person. I do go over there and feed them apples and stuff. So anyway, I gotta take my mom and run her some errands. So we're in for, I feel like my glasses look crooked. We're in for a busy day. Hopefully I don't have to drive her up to Little Rock. But if we do, then hopefully I can stop by Abby's tea stand up there. Um, it's actually kind of cloudy. I don't know if she'll be open today, but it'd be nice because I've really been wanting to film a video up there and show you guys anyway. So let's see how today goes. It is so pretty in Arkansas. thing I will say about living here is it it really is gorgeous I've not traveled too much I went on a cruise once with one of my nail clients to Jamaica and Mexico and the Cayman Islands but as far as in the US um, my mom's adopted mom because she's from Korea used to live in Wyoming so I've been there twice when I was younger and I've been, of course, I'm in Arkansas, so I've been to Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Tennessee. But being with Brian, who drives a truck, oh my goodness, it is so pretty in here. I don't know that y'all can see that, but um, I've gotten to travel a little bit more. I've gotten to go all the way over to South Carolina. Um, Incoming call. 
press Uconnect phone button to answer. So, sorry, I got a phone call. But, um, yeah, so I've gotten to travel a little bit more, but I can't wait to see more. I really want to... My daughter's not want to go where it's really cold. And my son, we want to go to, like, Michigan or Wisconsin, get us some cheese and come back. But it's funny, because Brian has been everywhere, and so has Kitty Love. She used to travel with him. Kitty Love's even been to New York. I haven't even been to New York. So, it's just expensive raising kids, you know? And so, we're going to actually take a vacation this year, and then Corona happened. So, yeah. But we have gotten to spend a lot of time together. So my parents don't live too far away. It probably seems that way. I really hope that you guys can see the colors of this. Like, like in person, it's just glowing like oranges and reds and golden colors. Up here, there's a curve. This one right here. My brother-in-law, a uh, handful of Christmases ago, totaled this car like right there by that pole. Because if you're not from here, people will take this back road in. I mean, just wipe out. I can't tell you how many cars I've seen total on this road. And right up here on the left, like right here, is a little creek down in there. And I promise y'all there was a beaver that used to come up on the road. And my mom did not believe me for a long time when they bought this house. And then she finally saw it. And then I was so sad about two years ago. Um, I used to work out this way and coming home and someone had hit it. And I was, oh, I literally bawled like a baby. But anyway, so my parents' house is mainly mm, seven, eight minutes from my house. I live more suburban. Obviously, they're kind of more out here in the country. <clears throat> so, yeah. Look at all those colors. Oh, it's so pretty. And then you get to cross over this bridge, which is really pretty. So, yeah. My parents have a whole gangle of dogs, so don't mind that. Hey! So, they have one miniature bull, two miniature cows. Come on! Come on! And then way out there, they have two miniature horses. There's a blonde one that is the boy. I always say he looks like Donald Trump, but mom says he looks like Fabio with his long hair. <coughs> Excuse me. And the girl, the brown one, is Kiwi, and she is pregnant. And they think one of these cows might be pregnant. Come here. Come on, bully boy. Come on. Come on, Jersey girl. Come on. When they got them, they were so skinny. I mean, skin and bones. Hey, Morty. Hey, Morty, come here. Come on. Come on, Morty. Come on, Morty. Come on. Okay, calm down. Yeah, so apparently some of my mom's dogs got out. I mean, literally, they're out here in the country. Hey. Hey. And uh, so we got to help find those, some of the dogs. Hey, come on. Normally they come right up to you. They actually will come right up to my dad and let him feed them honey buns. Hold on, Mom. What is the cow doing? Come here. Oh, they see my mom. Mom, they're mooing at you. Oh my gosh, they're mooing at my mom. Yeah, tell me that cows don't know their owners because they would not come up to me. They did when they were younger, but I haven't been out here in a while. And they see my mom and they're mooing. Come on. We actually have to go get them their feed. That's what we're going to do. Come here. Oh. Okay. Oh, I see. You see Mama Son, and now you want to come. Oh. <laughs> come on. Don't buck at me. What happened to your nose, buddy? Did you get close to the fence or something? Hey, Jersey girl. Hey. Come on. We'll go to the store and get you a honey bun, okay? You want to go get you a honey bun? Yeah. You want to get you a honey bun, too? We'll get you all some honey buns, okay? And we'll be back. We're going to go to Tractor Supply. Update. Thank God I got this coffee from Duncan. This tastes weird. Like, they put sugar in it so frustrating when they do that. I think it's uh, probably abnormal for them 
<laughs> because it happens a lot. You guys, it's just so much. So, got the missing dogs. Got my mom's trash taken out. And ripped my favorite shirt. Oh, and look, Duncan stuff. Real life stuff here. So, now we're going to head to the store, get my mom what she needs, come back, and get the animals fed. We'll probably get a drink somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, the fence is on. Hey, come on, fatty. <laughs> She's trying to leak fries. You see that? Did she? Yeah. Oh, I, I promised her a honey bun. He usually puts it in the bowls over there, but I don't think you can get to them, can you? How does he put them in the bowls if the electric fence is just... Right. climbs over the fence. Really? Yeah, down yonder. There's a low spot way down yonder. I think where he climbs over the fence. Oh. Brian, I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it. I'm not a rancher. As long as I can all eat. Yeah. Hey, you cows. Y'all oh, hey. are cows. Well, I guess they are cows, aren't they? <laughs> They're used to Ron feeding them. Now, you be nice. Look, there's more food over here. Come down here. Brian should have put it in the bucket. They're like, we never get enough food. That's a lie. Look at them. I hope they got water. I don't really know. Doing this video for y'all. Not an outside person. Running. Come on, Fabio. Come on. She's mad because I don't have an apple. Come on. Hopefully he won't try to kick at me. Come on. Come on, Kiwi. Oh. Is the fence on? Oh, crap. Come on. Hopefully she won't try to kick me. Come here. Come here. Come on, Kiwi. The brown one is Kiwi. And then... No, come on. No, 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 no. 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 Come on. Come on. I know, but I don't want him to kick me. You know, because I don't have an apple. Mom, you got an apple inside? She's running towards me. Shut up. <laughs> I can't run that fast. <laughs> you gotta you gotta avoid the horse poop. <laughs> Poop, poop, poop. Okay. Is it coming? No. <sighs> Pretty late lunch. Watching the Santa Claus 2. And I'm having some tea forte blueberry merlot. This is my son's absolute favorite. I buy a pound of that at a time. And we've had this bag for two years. Maybe a little over. So I'm going to make that up. And we are going to have this ice. Sweet butters. <laughs> Look at the butters. Who's a sweet baby? Trying to wrap presents. Look at your baby. Look at your baby. Ended up making a tea pop with that tea earlier, just mixing the tea with the bubbly. But then I took a nap, so I didn't get that footage. And now I'm wrapping presents. Um, Walmart has these so affordable. I actually saw these last year at Tuesday morning for $20. And Walmart has them for like $12. You get uh a teapot and tea and I think this one is ceramic it looks like the metal one but it's not that ceramic and then this Starbucks cold cup I have the clear one I actually got out of the Goodwill bins um this one was 15 at Walmart and does this come with coffee surely it does 
yeah, two single serve concentrate coffee pods and then the red cup. I really do like these cups. I'm not actually a fan of the Starbucks drinks, but I do actually really like their cups. So these will be gifts from the kids to me. <laughs> See, um, he has settled in really nice. He is a marble tabby. As you can see, he's got nice marbling on him. His brother, Appa, is going to the vet tomorrow. And so the shelter has him. And we'll follow up with him tomorrow. And his name was Deacon. And it is now Butterbread. So we call him Butters. So we've got Kitty Loaf, Kitty Baguette. Um, Appa is French Toast. And then we've got Butters. So, that's a lot for us. So, I don't know. Brian's not, he don't think it's going to work with the four, but we do. So, we're hoping that they all just kind of mesh well together. And there's, the kids just love the cat so much. And since everyone is home and quarantined so much in the last year, you know, um, there's lots of love to go around. So, should be fine. He is literally the sweetest cat. He just melts like butter onto you. And he's so chill. Aren't ya? What do you think, Butters? After a long first day, what do you think, buddy? Hmm? <laughs> He's a sweet baby. Can't even sit and have Kung Fu tea or rot in my journal because butter just keeps jumping up here like I'm trying to have my tea. But he's just a sweet baby. Look. <laughs> so I kind of failed at my vlog. I my schedule is a little bit off because I wake up with the kids and generally go to sleep on Brian's schedule. <clears throat> and when he drives a truck, excuse me, it just, it's very hectic. And anyway, I'm trying to get my schedule worked out. So I did end up going to sleep. I got up late, wrapped presents till late, got up this morning, had to take my mom to work since my dad's in the hospital, help feed the cows again, stopped, got me a coffee. I actually have not had a matcha yet. I need to drink some more water today. So I thought I would just continue the vlog into today. And I've got to clean off our table. It just, we don't have enough space in our house. It just seems like there's just always stuff, especially since we do a flea market. So, um, and got some stuff. We're gonna have a bonfire tonight. Um, Caillou and Hannah built a small fire pit in the front yard. So we're gonna do that later. And, um, oh, and I had some goodies arrive from Swiss Colony, so I might show you guys that. My mom has been ordering from them since we were little, and normally only order at Christmas, but this year, um, thought we'd do something a little extra special and get some of, uh, their little treats, so I might show you guys those later. And our little baby butter's just crying under the door. P.S. on this coffee, I got it plain and added in the Coffee Mate or the uh, sugar-free pumpkin spice creamer to this. So I just added it, added that in myself, just get myself going. Then I'm probably going to have a herbal tea or some water. I really need to hydrate. So anyway, I just kind of add that in when I get a call. Here is a vintage tray and I was gonna sell it, but actually I decided to keep it. It's got really pretty imagery on it. So I had a big bag of mixed nuts growing up. Mom always had nuts out and we've got um, this cool vintage nutcracker guy. I think he's actually more modern, but he's styled in the vintage style. And we've got some, you know, nutcrackers and little, like, nut picks. And then this is actually a vintage Mr. Peanut container. And Noelle loves it. It's the 75th birthday container. So I'll just put him out there, too. Everyone in the house eats nuts, so they'll just come by and get some. So, yeah, I'll just have that out going to make Brian some green tea. I love these French presses. They're very easy to clean. We're going to be using 
It's in an Adagio container, but this is actually Savoy Tea's uh, Yun Woo green tea. He loves that. And for me and Caillou, I'm going to make blackberry sage oolong iced and probably turn into a tea pop for him where we add carbonated water. I see this is like how my bar ends up. So I'm trying to downsize all of that. Still doing decorating for Christmas. Preparing for the new kitten to come back. It's just a lot. So we're going to get these going. And I just like that you can watch the tea leaves. So cool. If I had a dime for every time my kids put the dishes up wrong and I have to go searching for stuff, I'd be a millionaire. So, got him a mason jar and he loves lemon. Last time he said that it wasn't strong enough for him. So, brewed it at a slightly higher temp and let it go a little bit longer. So, hopefully this will tickle his fancy this time. If y'all hear instruments, yes. Um, my kids are all on virtual learning right now. And he just took them to pick up their instruments from school. Which we're really proud of them. Their band just placed second in the state for their division. So we're really happy about that. Alright, so we're going to take this. To him, it's very good. It's a very good lighter green tea, but it can be oversteeped, so. Mm. Is it too strong this time? Don't lie. Mm. You're so silly. I finally transplanted some old succulents I've had. I normally have killed these in the past, so... Kept them in their little cups for a long time. I hope these make it. So we're gonna make a tea pop. We've got our um, tea I've already put in with some ice. And I couldn't find my blue bit, my bubbly blackberry flavor. I'm pretty sure my son drank them all. He loves bubblies. So this is what I picked up in that um, Shop With Me haul at Target. Pomegranate dragon fruit. I've never tried this so let me just Ooh, that's good I really like this brand actually and I'm pretty picky about my sparkling waters bubbly has been really the only brand that we really really like but these are great too um, we had a different one we drank through the whole case of them that one is so good by itself Anyway, um, next time I go to Target, we're definitely going to get some of all the flavors. I think I ended up with like three different flavors. I'm rearranging the kitchen like Kitty Baguette. What are you doing? What are you doing? She's actually trying to get to this plant over here. These plants. So that is how we make our teapot. And it is really good. It kind of add, adds that nice fizz to it. Um, and a little punch of flavor and uh, you try to pair them best with you know the tea that you got i figured blueberry oolong would go good with the pomegranate and it and well actually let me try it hold on yeah that actually tastes really really good so i'm gonna enjoy this in my clear starbucks cup i'll see you guys back when i have another some ice cubes we have all different little trays we actually got all of these at the Goodwill bins. These make the best ice cubes because even in a big tumbler, you only need like one or two. Anyhow, um, sometimes Caillou will make these snowflake ones. And anyway, so uh, these have been out of the freezer. Somehow they got dirty. So I'm gonna wash those, make some more ice cubes because our ice maker doesn't work in our fridge. So but it gives us a chance to make fun shaped ice cubes. What I do is actually bowl up some water and make some Bella Luna ice cubes. I 
have this in uh, David's Team Mega Tin. Back when I had a Cricut, I labeled it. This tea is so awesome. It has so much volume too, even when you pack it down in there. So I have what's left in here and one more bag. So I did not order any this year because I'm really trying not to order when I don't need it. And the cool thing um, that they have been doing is um, when it is a blue moon, if you answer the secret question right, you can order Bella Luna. So I figured, you know, worst case scenario, I would have an opportunity to do that. So what I'm going to do, because this is like Fruity Pebbles and goes nicely in a lot of herbal teas, how many do I put in there? Make it pretty concentrated and then I'm going to brew it up and make those into some blue snowflake ice cubes. I think that would be fun. got our water we're gonna watch this turn blue and at first you'll actually think oh do I need more tea no it a little actually goes a long way it's gonna start turning really really blue but immediately the scent is fruity pebbles I'm in here sniffing it Oh, it smells so good. All right, so we're gonna let that steep and then we're gonna make us some snowflake cubes. All right, hopefully I can do this without spilling. Um, with the silicone mold, I found if you put the mold in first and then fill it inside the freezer is the best way. And then once you freeze, I'll show you guys how I'm going to use these. There's so many different ways, but. So here we have our frozen Bella Luna. And as you can see, they come out pretty easily. Look how cool. And silicone molds can be pretty expensive, but look at Goodwill, you know, that's a good place to find it. All right, so we have our ice. We have our Bella Luna Blue. This has been steeping quite some time. Do about that much. And the great thing is, as those ice cubes melt, it'll be the same flavor. So, I should put a third one in for good measure. And I've got some frothed up almond milk. Now, from here, you can put more whipped cream on the top. Sometimes I do that. But look at these cool snowflakes in here. And so that's how I make my Bella Luna ice latte. Just depending on how sweet, but a lot of times I'll add that. Whipped cream, it's so good. And it's really, really fun. And the kids always like it too. So there is, the, I just couldn't resist. I had to put the whipped cream on there to make it complete. Brewed up some David's Tea Green Apple Kombucha and mixed it with a pineapple bubbly and I made a tea pop and it is good. Like this combo, the pineapple with the green apple kombucha, y'all that's and good. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. If y'all hear some loud noises, I think they're preparing for a bonfire tonight. We're having a another one and <clears throat> they're drilling or using a chainsaw or something anyway um so i have a little bit of matcha left over from this morning so i'll drink down some of this sometimes i'll just add in matcha in like a herbal drink like this 
that way it doesn't go to waste and it's so good so now we'll have like pineapple kombucha green apple matcha going on and it's really good so just giving you guys some ideas like don't let tea go to waste sometimes combine it you get really neat so i flavors. used my bella machine and made a chai latte and i put it in my cute gnome cup and now we're gonna go outside we get it going i just love this gnome cup look and i got the little star off something else i bought but this will keep it warm for hours last night we did it ourselves but brian is showing them the right way Oop, we lost light. Does that help y'all? Yep. Well, here. Started on, on other spots too. Oh, wow. How'd you get it to start so fast? I did it the right I'm going to sound like a goober. There we go. There's leaves in the middle. So we actually did it. Waiting on Brian and Noel to bring mom. Yeah, it is. Better. I sleep with that at night. Oh, you're gonna put that big sliver on there? Yeah, we wanna get it going ASAP. I'm really glad you guys built this. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They did this in just a few minutes. I am beyond impressed. So I've got my drink. Gonna hang out with the fam. Gonna roast some hot dogs. Make some s'mores again. And, He's like, Ooh. and just enjoy the time together. So thank you guys for hanging out with me the past few days. And hope everyone is staying safe. See you on my next video. Bye.